My name's Dr. David Tuffley. I'm a lecturer in socio-technical studies at Griffith University. We live with technology and it impacts on us every day. And it's so pervasive that we almost forget that it's there a lot of the time. And yet it is there and it's shaping us, it's affecting us, it's, it's part of our life. And I'm very interested in how people live with technology. I have an, a background in anthropology and in psychology. So that's all about getting people and technology working comfortably, happily together. The nexus between Griffith, between academia and industry, the commercial world with government, it's really, really important. And, and this is what I'm seeing more of today. Constructive relationships being forged between academics and people out there so that the information we have doesn't stay in its silo, it, it gets put out there, disseminated out into the world so that people can actually use it to their benefit. They project it to be somewhere around about the year 2030, 2029 and I don't actually think anybody can really predict what it will look like. I'm sure it's coming but I don't think we're going to know what it's going to be like until it arrives. Now that shouldn't scare people. I know some people are going to be a bit frightened about what the world will be like when that happens, but uh, no, I think, I think it's going to be a really, really interesting time. Uh, I, I just think it's a great time to be alive and a great time to be a technologist because far from it being scary and, and the world is, is changing and none of us are going to have a job in the future, quite the opposite. Some jobs, jobs that people don't necessarily want to do anyway, will become increasingly automated, but the technology will create whole new categories of employment. There is so much opportunity in the IT world. There's all the usual things like programming and database management and uh, networks and things like that, all the conventional things. But there are all these new areas like big data and data mining and uh, analytics, which that's just one thing, but so many things are opening up all these new careers. And it's almost at the point where someone with enough imagination can, can create their own job by looking at what can be done and doing it and showing others that, well, this is something you can do. And if it creates advantage or creates value for an employer, then they can get employed by them.